the hip matrix. Prepping the deep hip postures with the lizard crawl, stepping right foot outside of right hand. You can block the foot by putting the right hand on top of the big toe. Get the left leg long behind you. The knee on the floor is always an option. Externally rotating that left leg, we're then going to reach back and catch the foot. Work on stretching the leg here, again oscillating in and out of that peak tension. Then continuing to the more advanced exercise, internally rotating, we're going to then kneel, reach back with the left hand, catching the instep of left foot. Then gradually work on that frog position, pushing the left foot toward the bottom, or ideally outside of the left hip. This way we have internal rotation, working on extending the hips and into the rectus femoris. The full lizard crawl, we walk the hands a little more forward. Here the elbow drops under the shoulder. We're in half plank and half squat position. We want the right leg flexing deep, the left leg long. Switching sides, here the right leg extends. We'll put the left hand on top of the left foot. That left heel driving into the floor, left big toe mashing down. As you loosen up, drop that right toe, externally rotating the right foot. Left hand reaches back and catches the foot. Take the knee back longer as needed. Try to find that sweet spot, and then we're gonna alternate contracting actions of the quads, and then relaxing and stretching deeper into the hips. Working into that second quad stretch, we're going to move up into the kneeling position, work on keeping the glutes engaged, then bring the foot up, reach back, hold the instep of the foot. Kick the foot back initially. Here we're in that couch stretch position. As you're working into the position, we want to kick the foot back constantly into the hand. That's the contracting action, the quads engaged. Then on the exhale, you're going to feel little increments where you can naturally relax and sink into the pose. No hurry here. You want to take your time. Into the full lizard crawl, which really challenges both our hip flexion on the left side and hip extension on the right side. Work on keeping the right side tight, strong through the glutes, strong through the midsection. Transitioning now, we're going to step both feet outside of the shoulders. We're going to work on lockouts. Here the knees will alternately flex on the inhale, getting a little bit stronger into the hips. And then in the exhale, we gradually extend the legs, strongly flexing the quads at the top. At this point, the anterior side of the hips should be open and should help us to prepare for the deeper positions. The super lockouts, we want to flex the trunk completely through the legs. Knees can bend to establish this action. Try to get the shoulders deep under the knees and then squeeze the legs toward the midline. Titibasana, here the hands stretch far behind the feet, then sit back onto the hands. Take your time as we work on the lockouts again. The knees can flex, that releases the hamstring pressure. And then in the exhale, we straighten the legs, fully extending the knees. Take your time with this. Find that sweet spot. Feel that middle to low back stretching. Working into Bhujapidasana, we want to keep squeezing the legs toward the midline, locking the right foot over the left. In the exhale, bend the elbows and move the head toward the mat. The beginner's version, you can place the head lightly on the floor or working toward the advanced position by pulling the feet through and lightly touching the chin or even hovering the head just above the floor. To come out, squeeze the knees toward the midline, continue that Bhujapidasana action. In the inhale, we'll work on pressing down to lift up, straightening the legs, back to Titibasana. In the exhale, keep squeezing the knees as you swing into the crow. Hold here on the inhale, then on the exhale, jump back to plank. Reorganize onto the mat as needed, tight at the top, and reset. Strong in the glutes as you press low. Inhale, pulling through the upward dog. Again, no back pressure here. We should feel it's really a leg posture. Then in the exhale, the downward dog. 